Hello, this is Nadim for Online Tennis Instruction. I have another forehand video for you today. And this one is um, based on the use of the kinetic chain and the use of exaggerations when you train. Now, I myself have been a pretty high level player and worked with a ton of them myself, juniors and adults and pros and everything. But the majority of players I work with now are players who are adults and who play at the rec level, who play um, only every now and then. Others play a lot, but the main focus on them is, for them is to change their game for the better in a way that um, they weren't able to do in the past, whatever they tried. So <clears throat> exaggerations to a certain movement is very important in my opinion when you work with players who have not developed the correct mechanics or the correct sinking of the kinetic chain. What I mean is that the energy is transferred from the bottom up into the racket. Okay, so it starts with the legs, goes into the arm. Now, of course, you don't see players on tour with ridiculously low loads and unloads. I can tell you for one when I played and I had the pleasure of working with a lot of players who are top 200 in the world when I grew up. Um, we did train like that. We did train with exaggerations for fitness purposes, but also to reinforce that the kinetic chain remains that and that we don't stay too army. Not everybody is a Leighton Hewitt who can do everything relatively flat and upright. Um, and yes, as the level of the player progresses, it becomes a little bit more subtle and you see very, very, very little loading and lifting to the naked eye, but the energy is still transferred from the bottom up. So when I train with somebody who has zero legs, who is just swinging from the top, I will tell them to really sit and come out. To really sit and come out. Why? Because it will allevi alleviate the strain on the upper body which will then in turn allow you to hit the ball with more energy, more loose energy at that. And that is highly, highly important. So when players and coaches say legs are overrated, that's, I, I don't agree with that statement simply because it depends who you're working with. If I work with a pro athlete, I may not go to that part, but I'm working with players between 3.5 and 5.0 or 3-0 and 5-0 who happen to have issues with the kinetic chain, very dominant upper body strokes. Um, the kinetic chain plays a huge role. Even a, a young semi-professional I work with, she phenomenal athlete but didn't understand the concept quite as well. Once I pointed it out it made all the sense in the world. You want to use the kinetic chain from the bottom up and one thing that my colleague Ian Meyer is so good about is footwork and I learned a lot from him on how to use the legs properly and the biggest the single biggest tip that I want you to walk away with here is when you play, regardless of which stance you play, you want to, that last step that you take to the ball is a heel loading step. So if it's an open stance, if it's an open stance, you step with the heel and it becomes a load. Okay, you step with the heel load and come back out. Okay, if it's a neutral stance, heel with the left and come back out. So you always want to step with the heel so you can transition your weight. Same for the open, semi-open and open stance. Okay, and again, based on your level, based on your expertise, specs, based on your experience, this may or may not work all the time. But somebody who has not worked with the lower part of the body for a lot of the, their tennis career should try to use it and it will benefit them. I can tell you with, clear con with a clear contrast that 10 out of 10 players who use it who have never used their legs properly will see the benefits in their game and that is just a fact. So let me know what you think about this, the kinetic chain, using it, exaggerating it to help you and your brain understand that there's another way of hitting the ball, a more effortless way to hit the ball. So it's up to you now. Let me know what you think. Take care.